Companies spend a fortune attempting to reach the coveted millennial demographic with little success. So what appeals to this generation and why is it so hard to reach? Well, my next guest might have figured out this young group. Take a look at this. Who does that? Don't worry, Tom. I got these. Uh, Claire, Tom, he has a child girlfriend. She's in high school. He's being really mean to her and then over committing to offset his guilt. He bought her a, a rabbit, right, which lives at our house. Tom and I are currently co-parenting a rabbit with a girl in high school. Co-parenting a rabbit. I love that. Josh Thomas is an acclaimed comedian and star of Pivot's Please Like Me, and he joins us now on set. Josh, thanks so much for being with <laughs> us. Your stuff is hilarious. Oh, thank you. Very, very funny. That was the most PG thing you could find. Uh, we, we had trouble. We went through, and a lot of it is pretty racy. Too racy? I mean, I wouldn't say too racy. Does, does Pivot give you complete leeway? Yeah, they let me do whatever whatever we like. But Americans are quite, they're quite frigid. Uh, See, Australia, you can do whatever you want on the television, but you guys are quite sensitive. Oh, like, you can? Yeah. Oh, well, not whatever you like. Right, but like, right. You have some... Now that America, guidelines. now that a place here, we're not allowed to show boobs. Because you guys hate boobs. <laughs> I don't know why. I think boobs are fine. Maybe we like them too much, and that's the problem. Is that the problem? <laughs> they have to be kept under wraps. <laughs> we're allowed to, like, shoot someone in the face. Like, that's uh, fine. Right. You guys will let us do that. But right. Not a not a boob. Well, clearly you're doing something right, because millennials love it, and they can't get enough. What is it you think that it appeals to that generation? To, to young people? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, you know, I don't get it, because I'm young, right? Yes. And um, you always have people talk about us as if we're, like, a thing, or as if we identify as, um... Like a thing, but I don't identify as a millennial. I'm just like like a dude, <laughs> just living your life. <laughs> I'm just a dude, you know. I don't like. Consider, I think I'm quite old. I'm the oldest I've ever been. Do you know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, yeah, <laughs> you are the oldest you've ever been. Yeah. So how do you? What do you look at comedy as a way of dealing with heavier su subjects in life? Because obviously, it reflects a little bit of your life, right? Yeah. Your show. Yeah. So the show deals with like a lot of. It deals with like mental illness, and there's like a lot of. Um, there's a lot of gay stuff, and we there's like there's, there's quite a lot of death, um, and yeah, it's quite. But it's not always funny. It's like a comedy drama, so it like switches between the two. I think it's important to be able to laugh at difficult things. Well, congratulations right? on also all your accolades. You keep being recognized for your your comedy. Does that feel good? Yeah, just just like a relief. Mm -hmm. You know, because I, I are on the side of thinking most things are rubbish that I do. So if someone says it's fine, and it's just like a, a nice relief. As a comedian, it must be a relief to see that what you think is funny, other people agree. Yeah. It's funny. Well, it's nice to know that I'm not a freak. Because <laughs> it's like, you know, you're sharing like your experiences. And like, I think that they're like universal because you need to share experiences in universal. And sometimes you put something out there and, and there's just a chance that everyone will go like, no, that's not. We don't do that. <laughs> right. It's so true. No, so what's next for you? I mean, obviously you enjoy the freedom that you have in Australia and yeah. on Pivot, but do you aspire to do some maybe American TV or movies? Is, I just don't understand this about America. Every interview I do, they ask me what's next. I have my own TV show. Because I, we don't get to see as much of it here. That's why we ask you. I'm 27 years old and I have my own TV show. What more? I don't need anything else. <laughs> That's enough. No big screen aspirations, <laughs> no movies in I, your future. My own TV show. I'm a child. <laughs> I don't need it. You're supposed to say you want to run for president or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to be the president of the United States. All the right. first ever Australian president. All right. <laughs> All right, Josh Thomas, thank you so much. It's delightful having you here. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. It's nice to meet you.